get a check with Paul. Hey, you know, I talked about that dry air being in the lower part of the atmosphere, chewing apart that snow uh, that has been showing up on Doppler radar so far, but it's not going to stick around all night. And later tonight, as the warm air pushes in, that's when we have to deal with some freezing rain and sleet, and that's why that ice potential is there right on into uh, tomorrow morning. Let's talk about the temperatures because here's the situation. The uh, temperatures, yes, they're climbing, and they will keep climbing as the night goes on. We're in the upper teens, even seeing a few lower 20s starting to show up uh, down in Wellsville and Elwood City in southern Lawrence County. But look to the southwest, mid 20s across central Ohio, 34 down in Cincinnati and 40 in Lexington. And yes, that air is moving our way, and that's going to change the precipitation over from snow to sleet to freezing rain. Here's what I'm talking about lit up on radar tonight snow showers all across the region. But a big part of these are not reaching the ground yet, just uh, through the middle part of the atmosphere, and then they hit about 5,000 feet above us right now, and they encounter dry air. So it's chewing them apart uh, so far. This will help lower those snow totals just a little tonight, but more snow is building out to our west, and this storm is just coming together with more precipitation across southwestern Ohio. And you can plainly see the colors changing to sleet, to freezing rain, to plain old rain here tonight. And that's what's going to happen here at home. Uh, first thing tomorrow morning is this storm that dives all the way down to the south, uh, pushes moisture in our direction. And it's going to sit here uh, through the day tomorrow into tomorrow night with rain and even the chance of a thunderstorm later tomorrow into tomorrow night. So here's future tracker again. Snow showers moving on through here. Uh, the snow won't be as big of a problem as the freezing rain and sleet will into first thing tomorrow morning. 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, starting to see that changeover across Columbiana County and then working its way northward as we go into 6, 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still snow showers across northern Trumbull County, but you too uh, will get into the freezing rain and sleet as we go through the morning and eventually the temperatures warm up enough that it's just plain old rain tomorrow and rain on and off through the afternoon could get heavier into tomorrow evening. More than a half inch of rainfall is possible and notice these deeper yellows and reds, even a chance for a little thunder into tomorrow night before temperatures start diving again and the rain changes back over to snow on into Sunday morning. Then we'll be watching for a few snow showers on Sunday especially through midday in the afternoon. If this lake effect can get going later in the day, that could dump some decent snowfall across parts of the area. But right now, it's questionable whether or not that's going to get going uh, by midday Sunday. So temperatures getting colder for sure right through the end of the weekend. And we're going to end the weekend the way we started it. Cold 17 tonight, climbing temperatures, snow to that wintry mix, a one to three inches, possibly four across extreme northern and Mercer County uh, in Trumbull County, 47 tomorrow. But that'll take all day to get there. We'll start off below freezing, that wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain, and even some snow up north. I could see up to a tenth of an inch of ice early tomorrow morning before we warm things up. Rain changes back over to snow into tomorrow night on into Sunday morning, up to an inch by morning. Snow showers colder on Sunday, then colder. Sunday night, 10 degrees. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look dry. Temperatures in the 20s Monday, low 30s Tuesday. And then we warm up into the mid 30s through the end of next week. Another round of snow just before Christmas weekend next Thursday and Friday.